In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert hours into seconds and seconds into hours. So let's begin. Let's say if we want to convert three hours, I'm just going to use H to represent hours. If we want to convert three hours into seconds, how can we do it? This is a two-step conversion process. You need to know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So those are the two conversion factors that we need. So we're gonna start with three hours. And first, we're gonna convert hours into minutes. So focusing on this conversion factor, which part of that equation should we put on the bottom? The one hour part or the 60 minute part? What would you say? Now we want the unit hours to cancel. So we're gonna put this portion, I mean, excuse me, th that portion under the denominator. And then the second part will have the other side of the equation. That is the 60 minutes. You wanna set it up in such a way that the units hours cancel. Now our next step is to convert from minutes to seconds. So we're gonna use this conversion factor to do so. So what should we put on the bottom? Notice that we have the unit minutes on the top here. So we wanna put this on the bottom. So we have one minute for every 60 seconds. So now the unit minutes cancel, and so we're left over with the unit seconds. And so we're gonna multiply the numbers that we see on top. It's going to be 3 times 60 times 60. 60 times 60 is 3,600 times 3. That will give us 10,800 seconds. So that's how we can convert from hours into seconds. Now let's work on another example for the sake of practice. Let's convert 7.5 hours into seconds. So based on the last example, go ahead and try this one for practice. So let's start with what we're given, and that is 7.5 hours. And let's write our conversion factors. One hour is equal to 60 minutes, and one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So let's convert hours into minute first. So one hour corresponds to 60 minutes. And so the unit hours cancel. Now let's convert minutes into seconds. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. So now we could cancel the unit minutes. And so it's gonna be 7.5 times 60 times 60, or 7.5 times 3,600. So the answer is 27,000 seconds. Now, for those of you who want to get to the answer quickly, here's a shortcut. To go from hours to seconds, you need to multiply by 3,600. And if you want to go from seconds back to hours, you need to divide by 3,600. And we're going to go through uh, two examples of converting seconds to hours. So you could use the shortcut method or you could show your work. It's up to you. Now let's say that we have 5,400 seconds and we want to convert that to hours. Go ahead and try that problem. So let's start with what we're given. And now we're going to convert seconds to minutes. Keep in mind, one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So what should we put on the top and what should we put on the bottom using this conversion factor, what would you say? So since we have seconds on the top left in the first fraction, we want to put 60 seconds on the bottom right of the second fraction. So we're going to put one minute on top so that the unit seconds cancel. Now we're going to convert from minutes to hours. We know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. And since we have the unit minutes on top, we're going to put 60 minutes on the bottom and one hour on the top. 
So the unit minutes will cancel, giving us the unit hours. So this time, notice that these two numbers are on the bottom. 60 times 60 is 3,600. So it's going to be 5,400 divided by 3,600, which is 1.5. So that's the answer. 5,400 seconds is equal to 1.5 hours. Now let's try another one. Let's say we want to convert 14,400 seconds into hours. Try that. So we're going to follow the same procedure. First, we're going to convert seconds into minutes. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. And then we're going to convert minutes into hours. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. So now we could cancel the unit minutes. And so it's going to be 14,400 divided by 60, which is 240. And then take that divided by 60 again. So that will give you four hours. So as you can see, it's not too difficult to convert from seconds to hours and hours to seconds. But here's a question for you. Let's say if you were given six hours and 40 minutes, how would you convert that into seconds? Feel free to pause the video and try that example. Now it's helpful to know that one hour is 3600 seconds because you got to do 60 times 60 to get from hours to seconds. And we know that one minute is 60 seconds. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert each part separately into seconds. So let's start with six hours. So we have 3600 seconds for one hour. So for six hours, it's just going to be six times 3600. And so that's going to give us 21,600 seconds. Next, let's convert 40 minutes into seconds. So there's 60 seconds in each minute. So in 40 minutes, it's going to be 40 times 60, which is 2,400 seconds. So now all we need to do is take the sum of those two values. So let's put a plus sign. So 21,600 plus 2,400 gives us a total of 24,000 seconds. So this is equal to 6 hours and 40 minutes. Now for the sake of practice, let's try another example. Let's say we have 8 hours and 25 minutes. Go ahead and convert that into seconds. So let's follow the same process. Let's begin by converting hours into seconds. Keep in mind, one hour contains 3,600 seconds. So this is going to be 8 times 3,600. And that is 28,800 seconds. Next, let's convert 25 minutes into seconds and each minute contains 60 seconds. So it's going to be 25 times 60, and so you should get 1,500 seconds. Now, let's add those two numbers. So 28,800 plus 1,500, this will give us a final answer of 30,300 seconds. So that's how you can convert from hours and minutes into seconds. Now, what if you are given 30,300 seconds? Can you use that to go back to this answer, 8 hours and 25 minutes? Let's see if we can do that. So I'm going to put this here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take this number and divide by 3600. Let's not worry about the units for now. So this will give you 8.416 repeating. So we're going to take the number in front of the decimal 8 and that's going to go in front of the unit hours. So that's our 8 hours right there. Now what remains 
the 0 0.416 repeatant, which you can write that as 0 0.416667. Multiply that by 60. And you should get 25. So that will give us the 25 minutes part. So that's how you can go backwards from seconds to hours and minutes. Here's another one you could try. Convert 20,160 seconds into hours and minutes. Try that one. So let's take this number and divide it by 3,600 first. And so you should get 5.6. So we're going to take the 5, and that tells us that we have 5 hours. Now the 0.6 part, we're going to multiply that by 60. 0.6 times 60 is 36. So this is going to be 5 hours and 36 minutes. And if you want to confirm if your answer is correct, take 5, multiply it by 3,600, and then add that to 36 times 60. That should give you 20,160. And that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to convert from seconds to hours and minutes and vice versa. Thanks again for watching.